Now, this is where I'll start to use a lot of brushes to make things easy for myself. So if we go up a level here, we're now at this sort of 40,000 points and I'll be starting to use a little bit of H polish here, one of my favorite brushes and a lot of clay buildup. So with the six alpha, so clay buildup, I always use that six alpha. Probably should make my own brush there, but it's a bit lazy. So now I'm just trying to sculpt out the forms and make this mesh look a bit nicer. Now there's a pole there, so we're getting a little bit of worry there, but that will go away when we up the res to crazy amounts. And you can also use a bit of, of H polish to get rid of those pole errors. So something like that. And we really want to start defining this eye area. Now we don't really have enough polys. I'm switching to the clay build up and now holding down alt to eat into that area. We don't really have enough polys here yet, but I like to use, cause I'm sort of comfortable with being in Maya where we're always using low level polygons, I'm really comfortable here with these low levels. And this is what I would encourage you guys at home to be really comfortable with the lower levels. They really help you out. You'll see the, the really good sculptors. They recommend this as well, the full-time pros. Okay, so here, and just want to get these horns a little bit more of a nicer shape. So I'm just sort of grabbing and, and moving these around. And as I say, all these sort of little tweaks that I'm doing here can look really easy because I've done a lot of sculpting, but when you're at home, it can be like, what? So, you know, just practice is the key here with a lot of this stuff. So I'm just trying to figure out, um, I'm really looking at this model in terms of big shapes, not small shapes. And this is what I'm, if you've done my courses, you should already be really well aware of shapes by drilling in the Maya primitives block section of the site where you're just blocking characters in primitives. That's what that section of the site really teaches you is, is to get to teach you to see big shapes rather than the little shapes. Let's get in there, maybe a bit more there. And in the front view, you can see even at this sort of level of 40,000 points, we're still being able to, to see smooth the mesh quite easily. Switch to move. Sort of moving that up to more of a triangular sort of a shape because it's got more of a brush shape. Maybe up the top he's a little bit fatter. This is also why I do, even though this is pretty easy, like ZBrush is, pretty, in, in my opinion, it's a very easy program in comparison to Maya uh, to learn because you don't have time to worry about. We don't, we're just purely modeling here and we can use very dense meshes which can cause very lazy workflows, which are also awesome workflows because you can just quickly get a concept out but I do like to keep this for event section because you really should have already have built characters in Maya and had them animated before being in ZBrush. If, if you want to animate characters and you're like just skipping to this section and you haven't actually finished your own character to a run cycle or anything like fully rigged, you really should be back in Maya and doing that stuff. What happens is, and I've seen this time and time again, everyone's like, I'm different, I'm different. And you're like, nope. People think they're awesome and have these amazing sculpts that never move. And the industry is all about moving images, remember. So there we go. We've got those sort of in, in place. So I've just sort of neatened that up to a pretty rough level. I could keep tweaking this for a while, but I think we're sort of getting close to the part now where I can sort of see I'm just smoothing that out a little bit, just sucking it in. There are multiple smooth modes like relax, but I'm going to sort of skip over them for now. We'll get into them later. And just sort of checking the model from all things, trying to get rid of the lumpiness, whereas as much as possible, but we can do a bit more of this. So you can see how it's kinking in there. I'm just trying to bring that out smoothing that a bit more and looking at it from different angles and trying to get rid of these kinks as much as I can. Of course, when I come back to Maya and do the retopology, it'll get better again, like smoother and better. I generally say that your animation base mesh in Maya for a, for a character like this should get better. This is ideal for ZBrush just because of the mouth. Otherwise you just start in Maya and 